hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel the stony girl here for today's project we are going to make a diy storage basket using tissue rolls and a disposable bowl this is not only used for storage but you can also use it for deco or any other thing you'd want it's as free as you can see let's have fun So we are going to use uh, tissue rolls, a uh, disposable bowl that you can get. We have strings that we can use for crocheting. We have a uh, cardboard that we use to cover the bases. We have a pair of scissors for cutting. I have a needle for crocheting, some ribbon for deco, pearl or glitter ribbon, any that you can get, a piece of fabric for covering the inside of the bowl. You need a pen for marking any straight line you need to draw whenever you are cutting the bowl. So these are very available materials right from your home. You don't need to struggle to find them. The strings are in any supermarket. The fabric you can buy or use any that you don't need anymore. This is as cheap as you can find right from your home. So let's start with the tissue rolls. So to begin, I'm going to flatten the tissue rolls and uh, make them straight then fold them into half because i would want to make some shape out of them so i'm going to do this to all the tissue rolls i have around uh, 14 depending on the size of the disposable bowl you have you can always use as many as you can so just flatten them make them straight then fold them into half I'm using the glue gun and the glue sticks to attach the two sides of the tissue rolls are flattened so that they stick together, not loose but very firm. You can use any glue that you have as long as it is very strong. So the tissue rolls are done and I'm going to use my glue gun to stick around the thread or the string around each of the tissue rolls it's like i'm covering it with the string so that it has a new look so that i don't see the paper anymore this is going to give it a very artistic and natural look and no one would even realize you have used tissue rolls so take your time do this patiently don't rush make sure it is done so neatly they are close together and you're going to do for all the colors you have any color two or three for this one we are using chocolate and uh, cream if you're here for the first time if you're new to my youtube channel i assure you that you are in the right place for any type of diy decor for any type of art and design lessons for gospel music and also for baking recipes we do this with a lot of fun and i trust that you have been learning something if you're here for the first time don't feel shy please subscribe to my youtube channel like the videos and please leave a comment let me know what you think about the videos what you feel i can improve on or what you think i'm doing best this is just to encourage me to move on i believe it has been the best so far and we have learned a lot so we have these four topics we post every week and uh, i kindly request you to share with a friend so that they also join us here for any any recipe any type of deco any lessons in art and design and gospel music you're all welcome wow this is so beautiful i'm sure you like them already so this is what we are going to do we are going to use the size of the tissue rolls we have 
prepared to measure the height of our bowl because we're not going to use the full height we need the same height as the tissue rolls that we having so i'm using my pen to mix some demarcations and uh, this will help me cut a straight line so the upper part that we'll cut out it's not a waste remember we don't throw away anything but we'll find a way of using it and you'll love it stay tuned don't leave wait and see how we are going to use the upper part of the bowl we are not throwing anything away So our ball is ready next we are going to bring in the cardboard and uh, this we are going to use for the bottom base let me say so both from inside the bowl and also from outside at the bottom this is to help make it firm so that anything you use anything you store in the storage basket or anything you carry in the storage basket cannot be of so much weight for the basket so we need some firm foundation down there so i'm going to use two layers both from inside and from outside so i'm just measuring the size i need the circumference of the bowl at the bottom remember they're not the same then after measuring this i'm going to stick them together because remember i said they are in two layers i just need it as strong as possible or if you have a thick cardboard
Now, this is what I was talking about. My tissue rolls are not fitting exactly the way I wanted. So I'll have to cut one into half and try to fix it in the space remaining. And I'm so happy it worked so well. You can see how I cut it slantish and the upper part is bigger than the lower part. So all my tissue rolls are fixed and this is done. We move to the next step. Now, after covering the sides, we are going to the next step, covering the bottom. Like I said, we are going to use the cardboard. So I'm fixing the cardboard from the bottom. And uh, like I said, from the bottom, I'm going to use the strings to cover it up or decorate it so you may not see the cardboards. So I'm doing some crochet using my needle and uh, the strings or the thread. So I'm just making some simple pattern or style so that I have some thick string that I can use to make some pattern from the bottom. I am sure you can see this though it's a bit fast. I hope you will be able to follow and make one of the same. So I'm making the crochet or using both the strings, the chocolate one and the cream one. From inside, I'm starting with the cream string that we have made. Then uh, as we continue, we'll pick with the chocolate one that will go all round up to the bottom. I'm trying as much as I can to make them neat closely and uh, we should cover up to the edge where the tissue rolls were fixed. Nothing should remain uncovered. So try and do this neatly try cover all the tissue also someone may not tell what you used they just see the string that is crocheted good next we're going to cover the bowl from the inside and we're using the fabric that we had prepared so I'm may I made it very tight and you can see I'm really struggling to cover the top part so that it covers it fully it was very tight and that is the best you can do so that it is not loose and may not come out so I'm also trying to make it on a straight line tuck it neatly inside so that it is very straight remember we said it should be very straight very straight Try and make it straight <laughs> so
next time. Bye.